This is your dashboard. It's where you manage your teams, apps, billing, and more. Let's start a new project from scratch. We always start a new app by choosing a data source, but you can always add new data sources later. Let's import this Excel file and it will convert to Glide tables. We navigate around Glide using the top bar. Here we have the data editor, the layout editor, the action editor, and our apps settings. In the data editor, we see the tables that we've imported to our project. And this is the data that's actually powering the app that we see in the layout editor. We can add new data sources whenever we like, and these will stay in sync with Glide. Now let's head to the layout editor. The left panel is where you manage the screens and components in your project. In the middle is the live app view, where you can use your app just as your users would. On the right is the configuration panel, and this will always change to show you the options for what you've selected. If you want to add a new screen, click here. And if you want to add a new component, click here. Now, building data-driven apps is incredibly powerful, but it can take a bit of time to really understand how the data in your project maps to the app layout. One way to help with this is to open this little data panel on the bottom left. This is kind of like a mini data editor. And like the configuration panel, the data panel will always update to reflect the data behind whatever you're currently looking at. Now, the Action Editor is an incredibly powerful tool to help you design automations and integrations to make your Glide app even more powerful. To learn more about this, you can head over to glideapps.com learn. To finish up, let's publish our app so we can get feedback from our team. Glide apps live on the web, so even if we come back and improve this app in just a minute, our team will have those updates in seconds. We'll set our privacy to private to the users table, but you can make your apps public if you need. We'll choose a temporary domain, but we can always change this to a custom domain later, and we'll invite some users. This will send them an email and add them to our users table. So that's a quick overview of building your first app in Glide. To learn more, head over to glideapps.com learn.